Thank you very much everyone for joining me uh, in this lecture. So again, I'm going to show you a very beautiful Django application in this one. So this is the home page of the application and let me just sign in into it. So I can, uh, you know, I have used the admin login credentials for signing into this application, right? And before I proceed, let me just show you uh, the backend part. So for accessing it, we need to simply write here admin and you can see here it has redirected us to this, uh, you know, SQLite 3 database where you can see these tables I've created. All right. So there is a table with name assigns in which I have put all this, all these things. Then there is a table in which the attendance will go. Then there is another table with name classes, right? So these are all the classes we are going to have in our, in our college. Then these are the courses which uh, the college is offering, departments, then marks, you know, every single thing is there, right? So basically it's a student management system and uh, it has been created on a Django application, right? It, uh, Django is being used for creating this application. Let me now show you how we can add a teacher to this application. So for that, we need to click here and it has redirected us to this page where we can enter uh, the, uh, you know, the ID first and then the name of the faculty member. So let's say the name is uh, Mr. Gaurav Jan. Then he is the faculty of computer science. Okay, and let me just select the date of birth. So, putting a random date of birth for now, right, uh, I'm not going to take too much of time of yours. So, let's submit. Okay, so I have, I have successfully created an entry for this thing, right, let's add a teacher. So, this is how the teacher's portal looks like, sorry, student's portal looks like. Now, here we have to add the admission number first. So let's say uh, it is ABA888. Fine, and then full name is Anuj Rana. And here I can just put the, uh, you know, date of birth. Okay, I think this is fine. Let's submit. So we have successfully submitted, uh, you know, one profile for this add teacher part and one profile for this add student. And this is how, you know, things goes here on this portal. Now, let me just take you to the code that uh, has been written for this application. So uh, let's come on this urls.py. So this is taking us to the admin. Right, if you will not write anything, it will show you this, uh, you know, portal over here. Let's log out. And this is a portal which you will get to see by default when you will come on the application for the first time. Right, and if you want to see the information, so you can simply change it to info. Uh, sorry, I think I need to just... Just a second. Okay, so let me just take another tab here. Yeah. So this is the info page, right? And then we have this API here, which is, uh, you know, actually linked with these four things. So if I will write API over here. So basically I have used a REST framework in this application, right? So how can you use these things? So you have to just write details after API and it will redirect you to this page where you will see uh, the login over here on the top, right? You can get the details, fine. Suppose you want to get the attendance details, so you can simply write attendance in place of details and it will show you this. You want to get the marks, so you can simply uh, write marks here. Now, if you know how you can, if you know to use, 
Django framework. Definitely you will be able to understand all these things also. But in case you don't know about it, you can contact me on my number, which is there in the description section. So that's it from my side in this lecture. Uh, I'm going to share the code of this application also with you guys uh, in the description section. So you will find a link uh, there and you can just click that and it will redirect you to a GitHub repo or maybe a Google Drive where you will find a folder from which you can you know, copy everything which I have showed you here in this coding part. Right. So that's it from my side. I hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot. Thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial. Have a great, great day ahead. Bye-bye and take care.